Welcome back to the Working Class Musician YouTube channel. I am Jimmy Franklin. This channel is making... This channel is dedicated to making sure you get the most bang for your buck when you're buying new gear. So to be sure to get to the channel before you overspend, hit subscribe below, turn on the bell notification, turn on the bell notification, and you will never miss a video. Today, I have one of the most anticipated guitars of the year. It's, ugh, all I have is that, just, ugh. And on to the newly formed Guitar Cam. Oh, of course I hit the wrong chord at the time right as I go to the Guitar Cam. Let's try it again. Guitar Cam. God, right? This thing is unbelievable. This is one of the new EVH um, 5150s from Fender. It's just mind blowing. You got the big old hockey stick, you know, the big banana headstock, whatever they call it, hockey stick, banana headstock, I don't know. Originated by Kramer that is carried over in the EVH name, right? And it's got all these other crazy bells and whistles that you wouldn't expect. Quarter saw and maple neck, and the, the neck is just nice and like polyurethane, which is really cool. This specific one, I mean, this specific one was plecked from our friends at Sweetwater. This guitar was ordered months ago on back order. I think he ordered it in the winter and before they were even out, and he got it plecked. And it's just nuts. I didn't even know that Sweetwater had that option. Ebony fingerboard, I believe. I didn't look that up, so don't quote me on that. Um, we have jumbo frets on the fretboard. It's everything that you, it's everything that the modern guitar player wants, who also wants an old school feel of a guitar, right? You like some of the modern headless or, or modern like super shredder guitars kind of lack some of that big guitar energy, if you will. BGE, we'll call that. But this does not lack that whatsoever. It's unbelievable. Guitar cam, guitar cam, guitar cam, 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 guitar cam. cam, 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 cam. Guitar cam. <laughs> Damn, this thing is crazy. Satin finish on the body, which is super comfortable. I've been playing a guitar with a gloss finish recently, and I forgot that how good it feels to play something like this after you're sweating a little while. This never gets like kind of too greasy or anything, but I start sticking to the to the finish sometimes, and this is never that the case. We have like the Floyd Rose EVH, which is kind of a rip on the 1000 series, which is the EVH version of the Floyd Rose 1000. And it's uh, flush mounted. It's not, uh, it's not floating, I should say. It does not float. It only goes one way and that is towards the body. And it's awesome because if you break a string, it's not gonna go wildly out like the floating bridges do. So that's a really good aspect for a working guy. It also has the D tuna. This is your typical like, Floyd 1000 series. You know, it's got the Floyd 1000 series on it, which is the EVH version of the Floyd 1000, which is really cool. Um, you have the D-Tuna for a quick drop, which is nice with the mix of it being flat, you know, a non-floating bridge. The cool thing about that with the D-Tuna is that it won't make you tune like crazy. You know, you might have to do some touch-up tuning when you use the D-Tuna sometimes, let's be real, but you don't, you're not at the mercy of a floating bridge, which is really, really cool. 
Um, I like having a floating bridge, but it's definitely not necessary to sound awesome. These all come out of the Fender Charvel kind of Jackson thing, right? I This is a compound radius fretboard, which is gnarly because it feels great for chords up here and then it's super flat up here for all your tippity tappity kind of stuff, just like some of the Charvels and some of the Jacksons are now. It shares that same quality with the rest of that those Fender Super Shredders that exist right now. <laughs> definitely have it running right now into my Helix Native and I've got the PV Panama setting up and I'm running it with a with a custom IR that's an orange cab mixed with like Marshall speakers and Eddie Van Halen speakers which is super convenient for this whole thing right now because then you get that <laughs> Even that, like, the way it, this guitar almost talks to you in a way, doesn't it? Because when you hit, there's a special sound that Eddie had in his guitar. That when he hit that whammy bar, it sounded like he was saying more than it really was. Like this, check it out. It does have the the low friction volume pot that Eddie loved to have so it could be super quick, but it does get in the way. It definitely gets in the way. It can, if you're a heavy strummer, you can easily knock it and and up and down and make it like, you know, all of a sudden you'll be, your volume will be off and you'll have no idea why. It's kind of easy to do, I'll, I'll admit. But then on the opposite end of that, the tone knob is super stiff. It's a high friction pot, which is very, it's weird to get accustomed to, but if you're not looking and you feel the pots, you know which one's which, which is kind of cool, I guess. And you have a kill switch, which is just so much fun to play around with. And it's fun to have when you already have one on the guitar, they're not fun to install. So if you're looking at a kill switch, I recommend this guitar for sure. The heel's not too big, so it doesn't really get in the way. And I'm pretty content with that. I'm very picky about my heels. It's got, uh, EVH branded Godo style tuners, those don't really matter because you are locking off at the nut, which is kind of cool. So it doesn't really matter there. Three-way toggle and pickups, EVH pickups mounted directly to the body for that ultimate, just high gain, through the body shaking, rumbling sound. That's the tone, man. <laughs>
to leave a link in the description box below for this exact guitar that you can get from Sweetwater and you can custom order it to be plecked as well. It feels unbelievable. I don't even know what they do, but it must be some sort of magic. That being said, that's all, that's all the time I got for this because my camera is dying right now. This has been the Working Class Musician YouTube channel. I am Jimmy Franklin. I'm going to try and get this in for another bunch of videos to shred on it. Thank you guys so much as always. Check the links below and I will see you with another video soon.